All right, what we're going to talk about right now is we're going to talk about uh, one person tactic for controlling a subject. Okay, what I'm going to do is now that uh, I see that he is compliant, I'm going to come up and I'm going to control the elbow first. If you notice, my thumbs are both already pointed in towards the subject. From here, one hand is going to go up over the, uh, over the wrist and grab the meaty part of the thumb. I've got that Lego man grip and I'm going to make a goose egg out of his, out of his uh, wrist here. Now I'm just going to turn this arm down, controlling that elbow, still controlling the wrist, and I'm going to bring that hand back behind. What I want to do now is I want to bring my subject down to the ground, not with so much force on the back of the elbows to incite pain, but I do want to control him. So I'm just going to go ahead and force him down to the ground. And what I'm looking for is to make sure that he posts that other hand on the ground. I don't want to force him down too fast or hard so that he falls down and that hand is underneath him. I want it posted up exactly like that. So now that I have him in the exact position that I want, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to step away and then pull him towards me so that now that hand is out and free and I can see where it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get on top of my subject, but I want to make sure that this arm that I have control over comes onto the outside of my hip pocket that's closer to his lower body. So I'm going to come in, one knee goes down onto his low back, the other is down on top of his neck. And as you can see, I've got that arm on the outside of my pocket. From here, I'm going to go ahead and scoop my hand down underneath his, his armpit. And as I grab his wrist, I'm going to go just a little above his wrist and grab, uh, grab at the base of the thumb and the, and the bottom portion of the finger. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that up, bring it back behind him, and from here I can slide the flex cuffs on him. I can bring the other arm down, do the same, lace them together. And now I have him cuffed.